we'll create a new. I'm going to do an illustration. Um, and down here, I've checked already checked it, record a time lapse. So it stays on by default, I guess. And what this will allow me to do is to play back my, uh, my drawing once I've uh, created it. Um, nine by 12 is the size I've chose for my paper. And we'll go with that as the default. Let me uh, minimize that so we're looking just at the paper here. First thing is that uh, I'm going to use a pencil to draw with. Just a, just a regular, you know, look at it as a pencil. And um, I can change the color to something that, you know, will be easy to distinguish. So, for example, uh, my, I had an idea for, uh, for my drawing. So something real simple. Um, this is all going to be freehand, so there's um, nothing too fancy. But uh, for my pencil drawing, I want to use a color that's easy to find, easy to pay attention to. So I think I'll use some um, kind of this, uh, use this blue here. Okay, so comfortable and situated. So I move my tablet to my lap. That's why, that's why you guys are seeing the delay. So for this, if I, uh, so I'm working on a layer here. So I go over here, you see that I'm just working on this, this first layer. And so the idea is that I'm going to do multiple things, and you'll see why in a moment. But for now, um, imagine a kind of a, a round, a round character. Okay, and I'll explain why in a moment. Um, and this is for so right now this stage here. Um, if you wanted to think of this as step one, this is the pencils. And so, the, and this is on my first layer. Um, and so if I add another layer, so I'm gonna go up to here to layer and let's just do a new roster layer. Okay, so now I'm on the second layer. And so I can, if I wanted to, that first layer, you can see I have the ability to, um, I don't know if you can see my mouse hovering over here, but if I'm on this layer here, I'm editing this one. I'm drawing on this one. If I'm on this layer, I'm now drawing on the new layer. And so for that, what I can do is I can, just to be sure I know which layer I'm on, I could uh, use a different color. You don't have to do this. I'm doing this for the sake of our, our drawing right now. Um, so for that, let's use something. Actually, let's use something a little darker. Uh, no, actually that is good because it's got a contrast. So what I'm thinking about is is um, we're doing something here for the, uh, for the myturn.gov. And so the idea is that we're, um, it's all in the battle of COVID, so keep that in mind. So if I, if I want to draw um, some lines now from here, I think in terms of uh, these lines here, what I'm doing is I'm putting, uh, uh, there's some perspective going on here too. So. Um, This is all real rough right now because I can I can do cleaner stuff later. Going back to the other layer, selecting my that that blue that I used so that I, I know. So the idea here is my thought is I was gonna put uh, the idea is that uh, we're putting COVID on the ropes and so. By using, you know, if you're wearing a mask or, you know, and getting vaccinated, you put in COVID on the ropes. And so this here, then I can have the little nodules that everyone's used to seeing with COVID sticking out and maybe uh, he's like exhausted, like, huh. <laughs> So, so then that would be uh, the idea that, that we've got COVID on the ropes here. So that's my pencil stage, okay? This, uh, this one, 
this is also pencils, but that obviously I used a different color. I used this one, I think. So, um, you know, that layer one is pencils and layer two here, or, well, step one is pencils. Okay. And also I, I used another color because I, I wanted to, to do that. These layers can be made to disappear later. So that's why I'm not worried too much about this. So what I can then do uh, is, is now go, if I wanted to, uh, uh, to anchor to color, I, I can do either one right now, but uh, for now, let me just uh, do a quick, uh, um, choose a paintbrush. And so what color do you want me to make the COVID thing? Kind of a, red. kind of a red. I thought the little nodule things were always red. I think they are. So what's the rest of them? Kind of a dark blue or some funny color, right? Um, let's make them, I don't want to make them a pretty color. Let's make them maybe a greenish kind of a, yeah. So let's use that. Now I'm, I'm going to change the size of my brush because right now my brush is kind of small. Increase the size of my brush. And so here, oops, hold on. Did I forget to add my layers? I bet I did. So I need a layer. The nice thing with the undo is your friend. So I'm going to add another layer. Um, Actually, it'll, be, it'll also be a roster layer. Uh, but I'm going to make this, uh, yeah, normal mode is good. But for now, while I'm painting it, I'm going to bring the opacity down. And the reason I'm doing that is when I, I want to show you um, how I can, when I go to paint it with this green color, uh, I can see through it, OK? See how you can see through that, right? So the idea here is that if I'm painting on this layer here, the circle. So right now I'm doing it as India ink. So and I can, if I make it a bigger brush, you can see I can make it a le little easier. There are different um, types. I, I might paint with other things later, but I'll show you how the, um, the opacity here kind of matters. Sometimes, you know, you can draw your pencil, your, your ink lines first and make them, um, easier to see like to to um for you to just color it in like you would color in a uh, um, coloring book or something but in this case by doing it this way i can uh um, i'll show you then if i bring the opacity up see now it's a blob like that and i can i can even smooth it out a little bit here but um i'm actually not too worried about it being perfectly because he is actually probably kind of an ugly bumpy kind of guy so I'm going to make him ugly and bumpy by reducing this um, so that I can almost like a meatball with, with those purple spikes sticking off of him. All right. So then the reason the, uh, the opacity is down here too is if I, so when I want to draw his, uh, his nodules, all those other things, I'm going to use another layer for that. Um, and you can rename these. If I get confused, I'll start renaming these layers. But for now, uh, I'm not too worried about that. His, uh, so if I add another layer on, um, or another roster layer. So now, if I wanted to hide this, on this layer, um, I can draw the, uh, the red things. Okay. So I'm going to change my color to kind of a, uh, let's use a dark, like one of these dark reds and then, uh, go back up to my, I got a paintbrush going, make sure that I'm on the correct layer and then Can draw them with that. Let's actually try a different type of um, paintbrush because I think um, 
if I use let's try we'll try the watercolor one let's see how that looks increase the brush size so you see the watercolor one it can vary a little too so i mean i'm just showing you variations that you can do Okay, so now we have all our little blotchy things on them. And then going back to our layers, if we bring that back, you can see I've, I've got some in there. Now, there's a reason the space is there is because he's got a mouth and a tongue, right? So I could do that on this layer too, and I might just do that because um, I don't want to make too many layers. So if you, if you don't you know, you can get as detailed as you want, but you can also, um, if there are things that are not gonna overlap too much, it works out well too. His uh, his arms too, and um, his legs. I probably can do a lot of his extremities here. Um, everything from like his feet and like his, probably his legs and his arms, I'll make those uh, the same colors, which I'm, I'm thinking like a darker, dark green for his extremities. Uh, for those though, I wanna use, like pen and ink. And so now let's see how my for pen and ink. Okay, so like his arms i'm not sure how far to go in there because remember you can uh, let me show you too there's an eraser tool here so if i've got this a little too far i can clean the lines up a little bit to do that if i wanted to but if i go back to the layers and i turn on that layer just to see where his so that so some of these have to go behind it so i'm on this layer so the nice thing is i can erase here to make it look like it's behind him. I can also do, put move the layer back there too. I could do that. And the easiest way to do that is to do this. But then if I do that, see, I lose the nodules. So because I chose to put them on the same layer, I'm just gonna make it easy and make the legs. Oops, that one actually, the legs I want to stick out. Okay, let me go back to his face now. So we want to hide this so we can see his face. So I'm going to add another layer for his face and the gloves and stuff. So his feet and his eyes and his mouth and tongue will all be on one layer. So let me add a new layer. A lot of layers to these. Number layer five now. So his tongue, let me get that bright red, classic. And we're using, so that's an eraser. So let me go back to the to the pen. Okay. Um, his 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 gloves. Let's make it a boxing gloves, kind of a kind of a, a, a brownish color. Maybe like, like that. And I'm just freehanding a lot of this, obviously, but if you, uh, you know, you can get real detailed with these two, but demo here is. Too big a brush, so I gotta reduce it.
these two shoes. Your boots actually, boxing boots. Okay, now his eyes. So go back to colors. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a dark color, uh, black or nearly black, just for the sake of the cartooning here. Um, in fact, we're gonna do another layer now. That's because I think we're ready to, actually, no, I take it back. We're gonna do one more thing. We're gonna, I wanna put the ropes in and all that. So I'm gonna do a new roster layer for the, all the ropes and that's got to um, what I got to do is is draw just the, the amount that is going to be uh, from his uh, I'm gonna draw straight lines and I want to see how fat to make them so so these are the ropes and I'm going to change the color of the rope. So let's make the ropes uh, a bright color. So let's make them, oh, I don't know. Let's make it, what do we have here? We use blue. Let's, I'll tell you what we should do. Let's go with something darker. Let's go with, uh, there's our line. Go back here. I got that. A straight line. I'm going to see how thick that is. It's probably a little thicker than I want. So let's go thinner. So that's, a, that's almost the right thickness. I'm going to change the color too. Yeah, I want to make it uh, something that shows up. Let's go with a dark purple for now. Actually, no, we're going to, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. And the line. And see, I'm going to put the line, the, I'll put it off the page. Off the page off the page and then down here is a, is a mat this is mat so i'm gonna oops let's make that kind of a gold color And then I think I can just fill it. Okay, now, looks like a mess. So if I put it there, and I put my color back, Starting to look like he's he's on the ropes. Now the the arms, the thing with the arms here, I'll have to fix that in a minute. I'm gonna have to find those arms. This is where I would have uh, so my arm one is this layer four. So layer four, then if I'm working off of it, I have to highlight it. So on layer four here, I'm gonna I want to erase a little bit. So it looks like his arm is going over it. So this is where I'm just gonna kind of fake it a little here. Don't have to do no, much, but you can see that I want it to look like it's going from behind it. So now it looks like his arms are hooked over the ropes. Okay. He still doesn't have eyes and there's no background there either. We're going to get to that too. So once again, hiding that so I can see his face. Let me hide um, the lines too. 
I moved them down, that's why. There they are. <laughs> All right, so going back to the, the layer, so the, the final layer, so this layer here is the, the one with the gloves. So now I wanna, I'm gonna do uh, my lines. And so what I want to do is I'm gonna create, um, Another layer here. I actually, I'm going to do the background first. So this background here and the, this other stuff, there's there's other stuff to be added in. I keep thinking of things I could add to it. So that's kind of how the creative process works. You keep adding on to it. Isn't that right, Trish? Sure is. I know it well. Yeah. Okay. So... I'm gonna instead, I wanna color this this layer. We're gonna make it, uh, so we had the gold and the blue. Thinking about colors that'll, uh, that'll show up in the background. So I'm thinking, you know, I can, I can do something, just something colorful. And so for this new layer, if I try something like a, I don't know, Kind of a light, something that shows up against the others. Uh, I have to move that all the way to the back. So that I could actually make my paper that color, but I'm I'm just being lazy right now. Okay, so I can do that. And if I don't like that color, I can change it. I can always just refill that one. But the these lines here, let me hide this for now because it's quite distracting. So the the posts, I, want, I can put the posts into if I wanted. So if I did more lines with the posts, I have to, um, I have to find the layer that has the, the, uh, the ropes. Okay, I found the layer with the ropes, layer six. This is where, you know, if you took the time to label it, it's, it works better. So, but I'm just, again, I'm kind of just doing this quickly. So I'm not, I'm not taking particular care with that. Okay, so let's pretend this is like a this orange or uh, something that looks kind of like gold. We'll, we'll do this and we'll use that. And so what I'm doing here in this layer is um, I'm going to do the lines again. Well, first, first I'm going to draw the, uh, the the ball for the rings here at the top. I think it drew, yep, drew behind it. Okay, and then just to cheat it, I'm gonna draw the posts. I'm gonna make this uh, thicker, so I have to go here. It's too thick. This works. Okay, it's almost it's the same color as the other one. It's all right. But you can see now it's starting to shape up. So now I want to get his face in there. Since I penciled his face in, I can do this and let me hide the those two things. Okay, now final layer here, I believe, is the, the one that I want to use for outlines. Oops, I think I added the wrong, let me add it from up here. It'll add the layers in wherever you're sitting. I want this one to be on top of everything. So let me add it in up here. Now we're going to use our quote pen and ink quill. I'm going to use uh, black for the for the sake of this. Okay, I'm going to start with this face just because I wanted to to do that. So his brush size here, I mean, my brush size for his eyes. So it's like that, right? So maybe he's a little bit beat up, right? A little puffy. In his mouth. Okay. 
these guys. So now that I got his face in there, I could turn that color back on so I can see that I'm drawing on all the right stuff. Okay, so there's his face. So now, those things here. All right. We've all seen those pictures of them and the, uh, with those crazy little nodule things sticking out. So I'm just doing this all by well, the pictures I've seen. And this is probably not the, uh, the most accurate. It's a cartoon. It is a cartoon. And like I said, he's kind of lump, I'm making him lumpy like a meatball. Okay, so his arm. All I'm doing is kind of giving the outlines. It's looks more like a cartoon, like a, you know, comic strip, a cartoon, all that. And since I'm recording all this, my voice won't, I mean, she's capturing my voice in the Zoom, but as far as my, uh, what my steps are in the drawing, you'll be able to see that stuff with um, uh, the, uh, the recording that I'm creating by drawing this. So I have to be careful here. I don't want to draw all the way. So I'm going to be super careful and just draw this like this. Actually do that because I want to draw these too, right? They seem a little thick, but I'm taking advantage of that. I'm going to make them the uh, kind of shadow, like one side is a little bit more in shadow. That's all. So I can, uh, on the bottoms here, I, uh, like that. I didn't change the ends of my, uh, my nib here, um, on my, my pen tip. It's rounded, it's straight, but the ends somewhere, there's a setting about it being, the end of it being round or not. Straight brush opacity. Starting and ending. No. I'll I'll learn that for the next time. Mm -hmm. For now, I'll just do other th other ways to clean it up. Um. So. That one. I can clean them up other ways too. Part of it is I just it's a little thinner. I'm just doing it to add a little depth. You notice drawing the straight line here. There's there are tools for perspective in in this in uh, Clip Studio and all that. Really, really great tools for things like that. I'm not. I'm still learning the, the program. I'm always learning it. But uh, there's a lot of a lot of neat things that uh, that we can do in it. This 
funny. <laughs> so, another line here. All right, so let's. I think that's mo. Oh, let me get here. Oops. I need this. And I can clean up a little with the help of my handy dandy eraser. It's because I'm erasing on the black line layer, I'm not making a big mess. So, like some of these that I want to just nick it a little bit to clean them off, like this. I can, if I make the brush a little smaller, even smaller. See how that cleans it up. Not worried about it being absolutely perfect. I think we're just trying to get the uh, the general idea. Yeah, uh, this this brush size is thinner because I wanted to get these. I'm turning because it's there are directions that it's easier to draw a line. And it's kind of an individual thing too, but don't be afraid to turn your drawings around. Okay, one other thing here. I add a little bit of depth to his uh, the circle things here. So let me uh, the stylus is pressure sensitive, which allows to do different widths like that. I'm almost done here, folks. I know it's long. You can cut it down as much as you need to. The uh, arms. See, I forgot one of his arms here. You see why I wasn't always too worried about, once I start drawing the outlines in, it actually tightens up some of that so that the, the lines and stuff. All right, so let's go back. Now that I have those other colors in there, let me go back to my layers. So number one, um, my pencil layers. Okay, those are gone now. So now we're only looking at these pen layers. Now I, this layer, let me put it back, it's pretty bold. I don't know, what do you think of that color there, Trish? A little pink. A little pink. Don't like color, huh? So let's, uh, but it has to have contrast. So let's stay with one. Maybe we'll do um, something a little bit. Uh, what does this one look like? Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Why did he color? Let's make sure I'm on the right layer. Yeah. So what did I do wrong? I didn't have it here. Let's try it again, folks. Back to the fill. Keep our colors available. 
How about that? Is I that, like it better. Okay, we'll go with that. Okay. Uh, now, uh, one of the things to do is to think about, okay, so we wanted to, uh, let's play with uh, a quick uh, thing with the fonts and stuff. So I'm gonna add a new layer. Um, actually, I think there's, let me uh, go with a new roster. Make sure I'm, oh, again, I gotta remember where I'm at, guys. Let me go, I'd like to add it. If I'm thinking like these are stacked, stacked papers, that's why I add them to the top, okay? Okay, so I need to add a layer up here. So new roster. So now we want to add text. Okay, this is where uh, like I can put captions and stuff. I'm switching it so that I can type on my keyboard. And and afterwards, we'll do a little video of what your setup looks like. Um, so they can see the equipment you use. Okay, you can. Um, so now Ariel's boring. Let's use a different font. Look at all these great fonts. Let's use something. And these all come with it? Not all of them. Some of these I purchased, like some of these I got from um, from um, Richard Starking's company that uh, he does fonts. Um, and so some of these are, are from, um, from them. The... Uh, And some of them I find for free online. Like this might be, I think this might be a free one online or comic panels too. Um, which one do you like? Comic panels, comic books? Uh, comic panels looks good. Okay, let's use comic panels. All right. So then uh, we're gonna, so our text, let's make our text a different color, guys. This text is gonna be hard to read if it's like that. So I want text to be, um, a nice bold color. It could be, I don't want to make it just black though, but maybe that purple, the same purple, a nice dark purple. Which one? How about this one? Okay. Let's try this one. Okay. So I could say, I may have to change the color. Okay. Put. Oh, I didn't change. That's why. Do you see what I did? Okay, so let me uh, try it again. I when I want to do the color here, the text. Now let's see. The text now looks like it's going to be that color. Okay. Yeah. No, it's picking the other color. It's still going back to that. So mm -hmm. you're gonna have to, may have to see what I'm doing wrong here. Text, oh, this is probably why this, yeah. duh, main color. Oh, okay. Oh, let me yeah. try that. Let me try that now. Sorry, folks. No expert. Put. So let's say uh, keep COVID on the ropes. Okay. So that's our tagline. Our tagline there. So I want to make it bigger, okay? And then down here, let's do another one. And we're going to say, do you, so www, or do you want to start with the HTTP? People, HTTP. HTTP colon slash slash www dot my turn dot ca dot gov mm -hmm. 
and then we can move it down a little bit if we want. Like here, let's pretend we're, we're making uh, like a flyer or something, you guys. Mm -hmm. Like, a, you know, those kind of slogan flyers. And then we can put something here saying to do your part. Comma. Go to. So that way, people, we're just directing people to the site. Okay. And then if I wanted to make this a little bit more pronounced, I, I kind of want to make sure people see that. So, all right. So that's kind of. I would say, you know, gets the point across. Looks great. I'm going to save it now. Now, how do you get the animation? Okay, I'll show you that. So, the time lapse here, I can export it. And that makes it amazing. And then you see it playing. This is what it's going to look like. And it shows me bouncing around all the time. So, you know, it's not a clean time lapse, but it's... It's fine. It's I'm great. going to keep it... I think I, uh, I'm going to... Is 720 pixels okay, or do you want it at 1080? Uh, uh, 1080. All right. Original aspect ratio. I took the logo off. Um, and you can do that because you have the EX. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna you know what? Um, you can show the logo. You want the logo on? Because it? it's a how to. Okay. So it's up there in the corner. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's saving it and it's exporting the time lapse. Great. That's it. That's super. I'll check it and make sure it looks good. And then we're rocking and rolling. Okay. Okay, let me stop the recording. Okay, so we are checking it out to see what the um, setup for that demo was. Here, it's actually a fairly sophisticated setup. But again, you could probably use it with a regular... Uh, computer and a bamboo, which is a B-A-M-B-U, and costs about $100 or 100 and a bit. The way it comes too. It's not a, actually, it's not a very expensive setup. There are more. Yeah, so this is, this is a Microsoft Surface with a pressure-sensitive touchscreen uh, computer. And then this is a stylus that goes with the Surface and the um also yeah allows for the so that particular model has 1024 1k levels of pressure sensitivity the the really good ones like cintiqs are like at 4k yeah so um so there's a 1k of pressure sensitivity on the stylus and so you can get some nice detail from that so this setup probably could cost you, I want to say maybe thirteen hundred dollars. No, well, a new so the new surfaces are probably like when I got it, I got it as a bundle, and I got the the pen, the original pen that came with it was a hundred bucks. They're cheaper now. Uh, the surface was on sale, bundled was about eight hundred dollars. Okay. But you can you could probably get one in the neighborhood of a thousand to or more it depends on the size of your drive you know other parameters but the stylus how much is the stylus now they that one that that's a replacement that was like 60 bucks okay so you could actually buy the stylus separately or does it come with the stylus no you have to buy it separately okay so so we're talking about maybe so well you 
After tax, a thousand dollars then. At least a thousand. It could be yeah. more because yeah, the new surfaces are going to be more, but it all depends. Okay, and when you are buying your surface, you want to consider the amount of RAM that you get for it and yeah, things that like one, that. That one has. I got eight gig because I think at the time that's all I could get. Yeah, and if you can get more memory. That's better. Any graphic program. Any graphic program, you want more memory. All right, so there we go. That's how you do it. Storage space. Storage space. So this one, what I did, because I, for the hard drive, I didn't want to pay the, um, the extra money for the hard drive, but I did, I knew there was a micro SD slot, so uh, those actually, uh, I used that as my external, like a lot of extra storage. Mm, okay. So, so, like two so this, this has a micro SD slot. Yeah, okay. I, it's on the side, and I, okay. I have like, I think it's like, maybe close to a terabyte, or not, maybe not a terabyte, but it's like, you know, hundreds of gig of sure space. so so what's happening is that to upgrade the storage that's included with the computer will cost you a lot more than it will cost you to put in one of these devices we'll yeah so yeah, you want to one of these micro SD cards what yeah cost at the time you're buying it because it varies okay so sorry if I promised you that you could do this just with the computer and uh, not spending any money. But <laughs> if you have access to a precious sensitive device, you can do it. Otherwise, you know, it might be interesting to see what you could do with a mouse. <laughs> I've done it with a mouse. <laughs> I might try to do that <laughs> just for giggles. <laughs> this video was made possible by a grant from Vaccinate All 58. I know there are lots of reasons why people might be unsure of even how or whether to get vaccinated, but vaccines can really be a great way to keep yourself and your loved ones safe. And if you're looking for more information or want to set up an appointment, you can visit them at myturn.ca.gov or you can call them at 833-422-4255. I hope everybody's staying safe out there. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Until next time.